So, I'd like to do some elite agenda video. That's why I am on my checkerboard floor right here. And going through Mickey Mouse as far as I have read it so far. And I'd like to show you that there are some funny scenes like Donald with his eyes and then there is the dog getting to eat it. <laughs> it's all like happening in the background. So actually it's not the story, it's disturbing. So while you're reading uh, how has he, have you been doing? He's like meeting that man that is greeting him and behaves as if though he knows Donald. So it's like a background story happening there. It's the same as they do with these notes on the bottom. You read the story and before you want to turn the page you get interrupted by this extra information, joke and stuff that you can read. So in this story it's just about losing Donald. It's just the losing citizen again. He tries very hard to find out where he knows this foreigner from that seems so foreign to him until in the end he finds out it was a mistake. That's Donald. There is no real joke about the story beside the slapstick happening. And then there is his finger and the dog mistakes it for a worm. And of course the inevitable happens so he's not you know, he's flying through air now, the dog, <laughs> question mark. You know he's not gonna die, he even got some time to think while he's uh, flying down. So, he's like on the losing side, as always. So, dinosaurs have never existed, so why take the, the time to show them? Then... There is our intelligent one that gets a lot of, um, like the moral of this story is he gets a lot of work. Fleas were too, of course, the outer space. So if the earth is not a globe and there is not a, a in infinite universe, he cannot go to these places. And as well, he cannot meet little grey ones there. So that's a lie as well. And of course, they are as well in the universe. And what do they do? They gather leftovers in the universe. <laughs> that's the whole... It's called Freemaker. That's what they do. That's bullshit. If there haven't been any satellites up there, as uh, we know, there aren't any. GPS is done by antennas, stationary on Earth antennas. So there is no need for that. But that's brainwashing the kids into the elite agenda. Then there is some jokes and stuff. We could go into these as well, like what they're propagating. You know, children, they shall be um, into these kind of comics soon. You know, that's bullshit. But they will do anything to get us away from having a family, from being sane, from knowing about the real nature of the world. Here is the same happening. Here you have the, the military agenda happening. Just by scrolling down you can tell there is a lot of colors until the blue ones come in. They are not necessary. There could be the policeman called Hunter coming and telling them to not blow up their house. Uh, but here it's firemen, it's not the police. But of course, the specialist knows how to deal with fire. So she's phoning up the fire workers instead of googling herself 
that she shall get one of these. Of course, then she miss 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 does or whatever. She makes a mistake, and then everything blows up. So the belief in experts, so that you don't think for yourself. You always phone up someone, or also in the TV when you have something happening. Then in the end, they have not like in the early days a commentator that just gives a comment. Nowadays, it's a specialist. There it says on the bottom, specialist for this and that, and then he gives his opinion. It doesn't really matter what kind of opinion, but it's the specialist we have to trust. They know best. Well. From on here, I have not read it to the end. And if you see, it's the new one, so called. Well, I'm sorry. Here it says 17. So, all these stories are new ones. It's not like in the little book, in the little thick one, where you have a lot of old ones as well. So, what they give you here, that's what they want you to be into. Fighting tools. It's, it's, uh, it was in there. I mean, on it. I took it off. Yeah. They didn't... Yeah. Like the high building is a new feature in the Mickey Mouse Donald Duck thing as well. Who wants to live or work in a building with such a lot of floors where you get lost? Don't feel special and haven't got any air? Of course you can open the windows, but if, if everyone produces dirt in there, it gets a bit meaningless to open the window. <laughs> it's better to trust in an um, air conditioning system then. It's just so dehumanizing all. That's the agenda. Like Donald, he has nephews, he has no woman that got him to bear children, there is no family. The strongest bond you can have on earth is your family that would help you in a problem situation. So if you don't have that anymore, you're pretty much on your own. That's what's propagated by the whole setup of what it is and there is what one rich uncle that doesn't really give them enough money to make it Dagobert Duck the old one could give him enough money to not have to uh, to, to 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 work anymore yeah well, it's just what it is. Negative reinforcement of what is a present situation in real life for many people. So, the last story that I have not read yet. <laughs> I want to kill it and to, 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 to write it in two pieces, but I'm holding a camera so I can't. <laughs> yeah. Bye bye.